Good morning, guys. I'm um, just awake. I've made myself a, a coffee. You can see the sun shining in my face because this is the first day we have some real, real sunshine. It's the first day that actually feels like spring. It's um, right now, I don't know how cold it is right now. It feels a little bit chilly still. But um, I saw the forecast and it, uh, it showed that today it would be like 17 degrees Celsius. Um, so that's pretty warm. It's uh, extremely warm for this time of the year. So I'm enjoying this single ray of sunshine coming through the curtain here. Uh, actually through the, the kitchen window. I'm going to drink my coffee. I don't know if you can hear the animals in the background, but I can hear some chickens and uh, some cats that want some attention so I'm uh, I'm going to go outside release the chickens first I'm going to put some different clothes on because I just got out of bed but yeah enjoy my coffee put some different clothes on and then uh, I will release the chickens and spend some time with the cats probably feed them a little bit and I think today I'm going to spend some time outside because uh, the weather is so amazing and uh, I have a lot of things to do outside so this is a perfect day for it. I'm in the garden right now <clears throat> because I'm going to do some work here and this garden I share with my brother he also has a tiny house on the property and for you guys that don't know uh, the property is family owned uh, and at the far front end uh, there lives my mother and at the back end of the property um, hey Sunny the that's where all the fields are and the pond and that's uh, that's where I'm at now and uh, you guys can see it but over there i'm right next to my tiny house and this garden i share uh, with dylan with my brother so the chickens and the horses and the cats every every animal lives here next to the garden so that's why you can always hear them in the background of my videos and where my mother's house is is close to the road and that's where the pig enclosure is at so if you see me over there that's uh, actually where my mother lives but this garden part is next to the animal fields and it's uh, shared with my brother and I have to admit we uh, neglected it a little bit well not a little bit we neglected it very much uh, we spent a lot of time outside both of us do because when you live in a tiny house that's just what happens you spend uh, a lot of time outside we both uh, grew up on the countryside and we really enjoy nature and being around animals but we have the whole property, especially the far end. It's pretty big here and nobody really gets over here so we can use everything we want. Um, we sit under the trees, next to the pond. It's all very beautiful, but we don't really use our own garden. Uh, we have it mostly for Zeno, my dog, because he is uh, 15 years old. He's uh, getting quite old. And because he's a little bit older now, he has the tendency to walk away because he's just a little bit confused. And for his safety, we just want to keep him enclosed. So we have the garden fenced off, so he can just walk around whenever he likes. He lives on the inside with us uh, if one of us is home. He is at my brother's place when I'm not home or busy. And uh, when my brother is busy, uh, Zeno lives uh, uh, in my cabin. But when we are outside, he loves to spend his time outside. Of course, he always has enjoyed it and it, have, it hasn't changed when he's older. But now we, uh, we protect him a little bit more and we try to be safe with him. Uh, we love him very much, so we want nothing to happen to him. But we neglected the garden. It's mostly just a fenced off garden for him, for Zeno. And we don't use it that often because we have so much space around us. We can sit everywhere, but it's a mess. It's a complete mess. And this year I actually want to enjoy the garden a little bit more and I want to clean it up. 
We have a lot of storm damage in the garden, so we have some ruined enclosures from previous pets, like uh, when I had a guinea pig. It's been years since, uh, unfortunately, he passed away, but the enclosure is still here and it's ruined by storms. We have a lot of big branches, just all around mess. Plastics uh, flying around because of the big storms we've had, and um, yeah, we did nothing to clean it up or, uh, or anything. So it's uh, some equipment laying around, some some broken things, uh, it's a mess. But what I'm going to do first is clean up some of the weeds growing around because it's also getting very bad because we haven't done anything about it really. So I'm going to do what I can. We have some other part, uh, it's actually over there. Um, and this is, what you see here, you might be thinking what's happening over there. This is where the hammock goes in the summer because we do spend some time here, but just this small area. Um, but I'm going to clean up some weeds, maybe clean up some other things in the garden. I'm going to show you a little bit what I mean about the mess, but it's very bad, so please don't judge me. I will clean it up, I promise. Uh, but first, gonna start with the weeds, clean up those so I can move around and don't hurt myself, because we have some pretty sharp things around, uh, some plants with, with pretty sharp needles and things. And also don't want Senno to get hurt, so that's of course my priority. So I'm going to clean that up now and then later uh, I'll see how far I get. I have some other things to do, so um, bear with me, as usual. I'll try my best. I'm taking a small break from the garden work because my uh, my mother is free today and she just called and uh, oh, that's my rooster again he's really going for it but my mother told me she uh, would like to go to the garden center because of course uh, when the sun is out everybody wants to work in the garden so she asked me if I wanted to go with her so I'm going to walk over there now and uh, join her to go to the garden center together so uh, if I see something nice, uh, I will show you a little bit because I'm, uh, I'm working in the garden right now. So uh, the timing was great. So we'll see if I find something. As you guys can see over there, my mother is getting some violins. She's a big fan of those. And for you guys that don't know, you can see the violins over here. Pigs love those. So you need to keep them away from the pigs because they will eat those violins in a second. Yeah. That's good. Those are just too cute. So we got quite much. You can see this card over here is not too bad, but that one over there is also ours. And that box over there. So of course, as usual, I have like four things. And what did you get? <laughs> A lot. <laughs> the rest. <laughs> You can see those small ones over there. I think I'm going to make some clay pots for this one because they look very cute. And the rest? It's all mine. Oh, you have a big garden, so... Mm -hmm. It will look like nothing when we get home. So now we have to fit everything in my mother's car. <laughs> in the Mini Cooper. You think it will fit? Yes, of course. 
Always. She'll make it fit. Yeah. We are on the way home now. You can see some some plants behind me but it all fitted in there it's not the first time we've done this Funny sound you hear in the background are actually the pigs. This particular one is Guusje. Uh, because I'm over here and he sees the flowers, uh, he thinks he will get a, a nice snack. But uh, unfortunately for him, it will go in the garden and he's not allowed to go there because it will be gone in two minutes. So, all this over here is what my mother bought, and this is for me. So uh, I'm using the wheelbarrow because I need to go uh, a long way from here and I don't want to carry it all so I'm going to take it to the other end of the property and uh, see where I'm going to put it. Some of those smaller ones are for inside. I have these very cute things where I'm going to put the smaller ones in those and these ones I think I'm going to make a clay lantern for because I think it will look very nice, so that's something I'm going to do later. First I need to take this to the garden. So I uh, just got back from the garden center and uh, I think I'm going to make a, a quick lunch and uh, I'm going to eat it outside because it's still beautiful weather. It's even quite warm right now, so that's very nice. So I will uh, make a lunch find a nice spot to sit uh, in the sunshine maybe and uh, then I will continue the work in the garden. So a little bit of a, a break and when my mother called for, to go to the garden center of course a uh, little bit of a side quest there today but uh, that's fine. Uh, it was fun and we got some uh, some nice things so that's always great of course.
I'm back from having lunch and doing all the side quests, so uh, I'm going to clean up the garden now. I know I will not finish it today, but I just want to remove the, the big scraps uh, today. And I think I'm going to start a fire uh, to get rid of some of the, the branches that fell down during storms. The bigger branches I will use in a wood chopper because we can use it. But uh, we have a lot of smaller stuff that I think I want to get rid of uh, very quickly. So I will start a fire for this. And uh, uh, I think I will start with, uh, with the fire so I can just throw everything on there um, when I'm cleaning up. I think that might be the easiest. So that's what I'm going to start with and uh, then we'll see how far I get. This here is the old guinea pig enclosure. I had one guinea pig from somebody that didn't want him anymore because her child didn't like the, the guinea pig anymore. So um, he lived uh, in my cottage for I think three years. And then in summertime, I wanted to put him uh, in this enclosure outside um, so he can enjoy the, the sun and the nice weather when it was nice weather. So that's why this is still here. Uh, Charlie, that was his name, he has been gone for I think two years now but they never removed this and now it just it falls apart and the storm broke it so uh, I'm going to remove it now but I'm actually thinking about maybe build a very nice big outdoor enclosure with a house for for guinea pigs and uh, maybe in the future I want to keep some more but uh, for now I'm going to remove this because this is useless and it's also quite small. I like to build them something very special. But maybe one day. Finally time to remove the weeds I was talking about earlier. Of course uh, I say I'm going to do something in this video and it's the last thing I will do but uh, yeah, I'm going to remove this now. I had some side quests today. Uh, when I started cleaning the garden I uh, just continued so I will remove as far as I can now. I know I will not be able to remove it all but I'll just try what I can do now and uh, I'll work on the garden some more in the coming weeks especially if the weather is nice like this.
I'm enjoying the last few minutes of uh, sunshine because the sun is starting to set right now and uh, it's, it's been a nice day. I enjoyed uh, the, the weather, I enjoyed going to the garden center, especially on a nice day like this when the weather is great and uh, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's nice to be outside and to work outside. Of course, I didn't get to do all the things I wanted because uh, it always takes longer than you think. And especially in the garden, I, I just need to remove a lot of, uh, of weeds and uh, I will do that the coming weeks. And I have some big projects in mind. I want to make a bonfire pit. I want to make a nice seating area. I want to work on the small ponds, but uh, those are projects for the, for the coming weeks. So um, for today, this is it. I'm going to take a shower. I'm going to eat something and I will see you guys next week.